I've come into the Cairngorms to do a route called Fecal Ridge of Korinschnechta. This is a scrambling route which gives us a number of options to look at route finding and how we use a guidebook, navigation skills and our own route finding skills to find a way up scrambles. So it looks like I've arrived at the subsidiary top that's mentioned in the uh, route description. I've navigated from the car park, followed the path and up the, the ridge, the lower ridge is just a walk and the scrambling starts here. This is actually a good vantage point to have a look at the route ahead and I'm going to compare it to what I've got written here in my route description. It does describe a small descent to a call and uh, we're largely on a path here and I can follow the path down to the call. The other side of the call I need to start working out where the route goes and I'm going to use this to help me. It actually doesn't give a good step-by-step -step description of the route to follow but gives you options. It describes a, a harder route which sticks to the crest of the ridge and if you're a, a rock climber then that's probably where you want to head. Um, but it also describes an easier route to the right of the, the hardest point on the ridge and maybe that's a way you'd want to go if you're just sort of starting out scrambling and reduces the grade to probably quite an easy grade one scramble. I'm going to have to get a bit closer to work out exactly the finer details of the route. I'm at the beginning of the scrambling proper now and I've just had a look around to the right hand side here. There isn't an obvious path but according to the route description that's the easier way to go. Just round the corner it gets more apparent that there's a good path up there. However, there is a trace of a path going this way which uh, suggests that there's some scrambling up this direction here and I'm after sticking to the crest of the ridge if possible. I could go straight up here, looks a little bit harder and there's definitely not much sign of traffic up this rock. There's lots of lichen there, no crampon scratches. So in actual fact this looks like the more likely option. The, the route itself will probably go up that stepped staircase or groove there and certainly there's lots of signs of crampon scratches in there which probably means that's the best way to go. I'm definitely following a, a worn or eroded area up here but actually it's easy enough to decide where I want to go myself and I'm just going to pop up onto the crest here so I've got better views. Here we have obvious signs of what we might call polish or scratching from crampons. It's removed all the lichen on the rock and that's an obvious sign that people have been through here before and it probably means that the route heads this way. We'll have a look at that above us. I can see scratching leading up over onto this pinnacle here but I can also see there's a faint path running down there with scratching and that obviously leads off the crest of the ridge onto the easier path over there. I'd prefer to stick to the crest of the ridge, however there is a little horizon up here that suggests there's going to be a drop over the other side so I do have to be prepared for any down climb. I'm well established on my route now and I can see what's ahead of me. Immediately in front of me I can see more erosion uh, or scratching and I can follow that round the crest of the ridge. Beyond that, these little pinnacles don't seem to have had much traffic. However, I can see a path off the ridge which I'm going to join. Beyond that, I can see the obvious steepening that's mentioned in the guidebook. I'm going to have to have a look at that when I get a bit closer. It's not unusual to have to climb down when we're scrambling. There's a couple of different ways I might approach that. If it's quite steep, I'm going to have to face in. That's to avoid my rucksack tipping me forward as it scrapes down the rock. If it's not quite so steep, then I might just turn side on. Side on gives me the benefit of being able to see my feet, but avoids the rucksack catching. And on the very easiest of steps, I can just face out as normal. One of the things that we need to be sure of when we're climbing down is where we're putting our feet. The technique doesn't change, 
What does change is our ability to see exactly what we're doing with our feet. I'm at the base of what is probably the crux of this scramble now. There is an obvious line up here, it goes up the groove, and there's scratches on the rock which tells me that people have been up that way before. There is nice ledges, so I'm quite happy that that's not a rock climbing route. On the right, there is a path going round what this steep section. That's described in the guidebook as well, so I do know that there's probably easier ground round there which I could take if I didn't want to go up there. However, I am wary of paths that go round obvious intimidating areas and scrambles. It quite often leads to ground that is loose and probably more dangerous than actually sticking to the scramble itself. So when scrambling, quite often it does look intimidating from below but you can actually see that once you're on it, there is a lot of big holes and ledges and it's not as difficult as it looks. Beyond the crocs, the ridge just lies back a bit and you can get a much better view of what's ahead. And basically you can choose any line you want depending on what, if you want to do harder scrambling or just follow the path on the right. 